Hello everyone, welcome back here to the channel. My name's Scott. It's great to be here and it's, it's great that you're here uh, for today's lesson and every lesson that comes along. Um, I have a request from a student of mine. She said I should speak slow, slower, slowly. So maybe I do speak a little bit too quickly sometimes. So Kyoko, if you're watching, I'm trying to speak slowly. Hopefully you can grasp everything, okay? Today's lesson is not gonna be easy as well. I didn't mean not easy, it's not difficult, uh, it's painful. Because what I wanna to speak today and talk about today and help you with today is the words like pain, sore, and ache. Words like that. I didn't do itch, but my ears are a little itchy. Um, let's get off, first, first off, I wanna go with pain. Uh, pain is a noun, now the adjective is painful, okay? I'm gonna give you example sentences here as well. It's a very short and easy to pronounce word. Pain, pain, P-A-I-N. So using it as a, a noun in that situation, like I have a pain in my back, I have a pain in my back. I can also use the adjective painful, where in that case, my back is painful. Pain plus full, in many words that end with full. Beauty, beautiful, pain, painful, plenty, plentiful. Pain is another one. So pain, painful. So my back is painful, or I have a pain in my knee, using it as a, uh, as a noun there. I have a pain in my knee. Um, these are also countable nouns, so I have a few pains, aches and pains, as they're countable. So that's why I say I have a pain. Now, I'm gonna stay with the word pain in a sense because there, there are different kinds of pain in Japanese language as well. You express pain differently. So, like if I have a, suddenly have a, oh, something on my side here, it's called a sharp pain, a sharp pain, which is a little strong and comes suddenly, a sharp pain. Now a good one for like a, not a good one, if you have the situation, if I got toothache coming up soon, but a toothache, now a toothache can be a throbbing pain where you just feel that pain coming and coming and coming, and it kind of just stays there, a throbbing pain. That's a pain that you can feel with every heartbeat in a way. It's a throbbing pain. It has a strong points and gets a little weaker and comes back strong again. Then there's a dull pain, D-U-L-L, -L, a dull pain. A dull pain is not too strong, but it's there, it's evident, you can feel it, and it's usually long lasting, a dull pain. Kind of the opposite of a sharp pain. Sharp pain is kind of strong, and a dull pain is a little bit weaker, and you can feel it. You may be able to concentrate on other things, but that pain exists, and it's maybe annoying because it doesn't go away, it's a dull pain. Now another pain I wanna talk about is a stinging pain, a stinging pain. Now a stinging pain, for example, if you get something in your eye, like some type of food or a, a vinegar or something like that, that's a stinging pain. Also it can be a, an, a bee sting, thus stinging pain. A bee sting can get, cause a stinging pain, which is also close to a sharp pain, and a stinging pain is also more painful than a dull pain. And a little different from a throbbing pain, where a stinging pain is a strong and it usually doesn't last too long, where a throbbing pain will last longer. Okay, those are my different pains and painful as the adjective. And next up, I'd like to talk about um, sore. Sore is also a pain, painful. Now, sore is an adjective. Now, a quick sentence here I have a sore elbow, or my elbow is sore. I can use it, if I have a sore elbow, or my elbow is sore. Sore is especially good when you talk about a, a throat. The throat, when you get a, before you get a cold or when you have a cold, often you get a sore throat. And it's kind of, that's a collocation. So I have a sore throat. I have a sore throat. My throat is sore. Now sore is also good for muscles. So you're doing some you know, weight training or you're lifting up some heavy boxes. And afterwards, you can feel it uh, in the muscles. That's sore muscles, which is a common collocation too. I have sore muscles, okay? We got pain, painful, and sore. Now let's go to the last one I wanna do in this segment is called, uh, the word is ache, ache. Now first off, uh, ache is a, kind of a constant pain, not too strong like a sharp pain, but a constant pain that's evident and you can feel. Now we have our four common aches. Now the four common aches on the body parts are your headache and your toothache and your stomach ache and your back ache. And they often go together like so. So I don't usually say I have a pain in my head, I have a headache. Uh, I have a, my, my tooth hurts as possible, but I have a toothache is quite common. 
So the four common aches, headache, toothache, stomach ache, and backache being the fourth. Um, they're the common aches. They're common collocations and they're, they're obviously these are ailments. These problems you know, happen quite often with many people. So it's good to know how to use your four aches. Now the adjective for um, ache is achy. Now you can also say achy, I have an achy back or I have an uh, achy knee, which is also possible as well. Not as common as ache in itself, but sometimes achy is possible. Um, not as, I should say it's not as common as painful, but it's possible, achy. Headache, stomach ache, I have an achy head. Not common, but it is possible. I just wanna give you the adjective on that case with achy. Okay, well, let, me, let me recap it a little bit here and also I'll give you a chance of pronunciation, but these four words are not too difficult to pronounce. Sore, of course, has the R in it, so you gotta make that proper sore with the R sound at the end, sore. I have sore muscles, or I have a sore throat. So let's recap it again, we've got pain. So I have a pain in my knee. My back is painful, if I go with the adjective there. And we had sore, so I've had a sore throat for the last uh, two days, better see a doctor. So I have a sore throat, I've had a sore throat for the past uh, two days. And our aches, our headache, backache, stomach ache, toothache, and your common aches. Adjective is achy. Now, I, I hope that you do not suffer any kinds of aches or pains or sores, but if you do, you're able to express yourself in the proper way. Also, think about the, uh, the, the words to use with different kinds of pain. Throbbing pain, stinging pain, dull pain, and also a sharp pain. Okay, everybody? I do hope the best for all, for everybody here watching this. I do, you know, wish you the best in your health and your, and your English studies, in that order, health and English studies. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. Um, I hope I did not speak too quickly in this episode. If I did, uh, make a comment and I'll speak slower in the future if necessary. And would you like it? And would you also leave any comments and uh, subscribe? That would be ideal. We'd appreciate it. We'll be back here again soon. Thanks for watching, everybody. Until then, have a great day.